Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hi there, everyone. Hi there, Bonnie. Hi there, make a difference. Oh, just had a little discussion with my grandson. A little bit of bargaining. He could stay in the living room with his tablet if he turned the volume down. Otherwise, he's got to go in my bedroom and get in my bed and watch his tablet in my bed. He didn't want to do either. So I said, OK, what about if I connect my headphones to your tablet? No. So eventually he decided, OK, put the headphones. Would my headphones connect to his tablet? No. So now he's just got up, took his tablet and gone in my bedroom. After all that, he's finally done what I've asked him in the first place. But, oh God. Normally he has no problem with me coming on. But for some reason tonight he didn't want me to come on. I won't be on tomorrow night because I've got both my grandchildren tomorrow. Anyway, how's everyone been today? Hope you've had a lovely day. It's been very overcast here, but very warm. So, oh dear. Has everyone seen that new live come out on a certain YouTube channel with Set, uh, Chris and Katie? That's what everyone's talking about today. I haven't been online much today because I had to go and pick my grandson up. So I had to go out this morning, then I had to come back, and then go, and then I had to go out again and pick my grandson up. So, I haven't been online. I've just caught it when I got home this afternoon. And to be honest, I started to watch it. But then I felt very, very, very ill. Because it... I didn't even get to the part where Katie apparently talks. Hi there, Karen, from Massachusetts. Mr. Herbing is not the... I didn't even get to the part where Katie spoke. I didn't. Now we can watch it on here if you want, but... Until they start, they sit there and they call out for us to keep searching, keep his name out there. Right? We do that. Those who can't get out there searching... Keep his name out there by coming on their channels and talking about Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. All they ever seem to do when they come on, well, apparently they said it was very, very nice what Katie had to say. I didn't even get to her part, so I can't say. But they said all she mentioned, some of the people said all she mentioned was what food he liked to eat. So that's very interesting, being as well, people are out there looking for your son. So if they see someone looking like your son, eating a bowl of, I don't know, charms, whatever you call them over in the US, that could be your son. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, it was, she never, someone said she never mentioned his name. I don't know how true that is because I haven't watched it all. And to be honest with you, I can't bring myself to watch it all. Because they're being all nice and nice now. Right? Well, I'll tell you what. CP, KP, you've done your damage. You've done enough damage. Seth has done some damage. But he's got... I'm not saying Katie hasn't got the right to do damage and say vile things. I'm not saying that, but he's been out there looking. He's been out there looking for your, for his son, for any sign of him, any trace of him. 
anything. He's not getting no support off law enforcement. When he is out there, he's getting intimidated and followed. So now he won't put out where they're searching. And no one does. None of the searchers who are out there will tell anyone where they're searching. Because of the threats and intimidation that come along with him. So Katie, you want us to get out there, put his name and picture out there, you want us to keep searching, but tell your other half to tell his friends or whoever it is, hi Karen. Hi. I would like to ask Seth if that is the real Katie, little Miss Sweet Polly. Yeah, I'd like to, yeah. As I said, I never got round to that part where she was talking. I really didn't. I switched off because his voice, CP's voice was just making me feel very, very ill. Really ill. So I just switched off. And I'm sure I'm going to have to get round to listening to him. Just to keep updated. But I'll go on and play it on here. Unless you like, want me to play it on here, I will play it on here. I've saved it onto my Twitter account. <clears throat> right. I haven't put it on my Facebook account. I've got more followers on my Facebook than I have on my Twitter. <laughs> so. Hi there, all those on here from Twitter. X, I should say. You, you didn't see Chris talk? Uh, oh, God. I did. Did she talk before him then? Did Katie talk before Chris? Because I missed him. I literally started doing it. It was just him talking. And I'm not sure if she started talking after or before. <clears throat> but he's making himself out to be this I'm a reasonable guy I will, I'll be nice just give me the rest. yeah you go to channels where you know they will kiss your backside you want respect they give you the respect that you want we give you the respect but you won't give us the respect back it's a two way thing respect it's not all your way, Chris. Right? So you won't go in there like a bull in a china shop. Because you've got to keep faith, faith with some of the YouTubers, haven't you? You have got to keep faith with some of them. Now, the YouTubers that were on the panel, I don't even watch. Didn't even know some of their names. So I, do, I don't even watch them. But, and they said, you watch tomorrow, everyone will be streaming this video. Sorry to update you. I'm not. I'm not going to stream it because I don't want BS on my channel. I am because I've tried once to watch it in the short time that I had. Right, and I think I managed to watch about, what, four minutes? And that's not a lie. Four minutes of him talking, and I had to switch off. Because it's not all sweet and innocent. People are going on about Seth, right? And how he should have done more to help Sebastian. Perhaps that's right, he could have done more. But what could he have done? Unless he took it to court. But if he took, took Katie to talk court, over what? Sebastian wasn't telling him nothing. So what was he going to take him back to court for? He had no idea because Sebastian wasn't telling him anything. Oh, yes, Karen. 
We've said this before. He will throw her under the bus without a second thought. Don't forget that interview he did with that other you. I'm not mentioning the names with a YouTuber where he phoned up using a voice changer, making out he's someone else. He said then in that, I think uh, Katie and Seth know a lot more than they are saying. Right? I'm sorry, but you don't say things like that as in jest. You say things like that because that's what you're thinking. So it's already thrown along the bus. And then we've got these other channels, right? And I'm not joking, it's bonkers on these YouTube streets. Bonkers. And now you've got this other YouTuber having a go at another YouTuber, which I kind of like, right? And I don't believe in anything, like I've never posted anything on here about Katie or Seth and their divorce, nothing. I've got the paperwork, but I've not posted it on here because I don't see how that is going to help find Sebastian, right? But you've got these YouTubers now going after each other and bringing up their personal life and all their personal details. I'm going, what in on earth is going on? Seth's mother said Seth tried to get Sebastian several times, but KP being manipulative. Those were her words. I could believe that, MCAS. But how, what was he going to do? He was asking Sebastian, why didn't you want to go home? Why didn't you want to go home, son? Right? If Sebastian doesn't say anything, he can't do nothing. He can't do anything. Figure said, well, Dad, it, apparently he said something like, oh, they keep moaning at me or whatever, right? Something like that. Well, that means nothing because the dad said, just persevere, just stay the course, you won't be there much longer, right? You won't have all that then when you move here. But that's all Seth thought it was, that they was just having a go at him, like, moaning about him for not doing this or not doing that. But if Sebastian had told him what he'd been telling his grandmother, I can swear to God, Seth would have had them up in court before they could have said, what? You know what I mean? He would have had him up in court. And he would not have let uh, Sebastian go back there if he told him just one thing that had been going on. Not just the moaning at him and whatever. Because kids say that all the time. Oh, they moan at me all the time. You know what I mean? They just don't let me breathe. But sometimes that's just... It might just be a parent saying, uh, Sebastian... Do you mind picking your shoes up and putting them away? Or, oh, Sebastian, can you just put your toys away in the bedroom? In your bedroom? Right? And children can sometimes class that as being moaned at. So Seth probably thought it's just something like that. You know what I mean? Sebastian wasn't to know. And you've got people going, well, Seth has let him down. You, should have... you know what I mean? Seth, I think, should have took him a year ago when it was planned to do, a year ago. But don't you think Seth is now kicking himself, day in and day out, that he never took, um, took his son that time, a year ago? Don't you think his mother is kicking herself for not saying anything sooner? Right? But when you've got a child's trust, you've got to try and work it with that child. Say, look, 
you can't ask me to keep this quiet. I've got to tell someone, sweetheart, for your own safety. This cannot go on. I need to, you need to talk to someone or let me talk to someone about this. If not your father, let me talk to someone else about this. But you see, he knew that if she, if his grand had gone to DCS or whatever it is, and they come out, he'd get another rollicking off Chris. You know what I mean? He couldn't win. That child, if that child, this is what I wanted to talk about tonight, if that child, there's three ways he could have left that house. Three ways. One, he walked. Two, he rang. Or three, he was carried out. The interviews are so gooey sweet. Many people's comments are buying into Katie's act. Good God, where's the common sense? Very, very unnatural grieving mother. I lost my five-year-old granddaughter. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Karen. Sorry to hear that. But she isn't, she isn't acting like a mother who's lost a child. She's not. I've seen mothers on YouTube channels who... I know a mother now. Right? Michael Vaughan, his mother. As far as I know, that mother still sleeps on the sofa facing the front door every night since he's gone missing. I don't know if she still is now, but she was, right? She'd, be, she'd do a video recording in the morning. She'd have a phone on YouTube or whatever. She'd be watching a channel and it'd be recording and all she'd be videoing. And her little daughter would come out and say she got two ice creams or two ice rolls, one for her and one for her brother. And you can hear it in the mother's voice. Now, this is going on, what, three years. Three years this has been going on. They've got four people down for that child going missing. Four. I don't know how much longer they're going to wait before they actually arrest them, what they need, what more they need to do the arrest. But they are working on this case. Right? And that's the case I need to catch up on. I need to watch um, Purple Phoenix. She does a show, a YouTube live, every Monday. And it's um, just for Michael Vaughan. Right? You know, she's supported that family. She talks to the family. She talks to the mother. Every one of that family. Right? And she does a live every Monday called for Michael Vaughan. Michael Monkey Vaughan. Right? Now that is a grieving mother. Katie, we don't even know if Sebastian is dead. We don't. We don't know. But she's not even acting like a child that has been has just walked away. I'd be frantic. I'd be bold. I would literally be bold because I'd be pulling my hair out. Every, I wouldn't even be sleeping, let alone eating. They'd have to sort of like force feed me because I wouldn't be able to eat. Because if I'm not eat, if he's not, if my child's out there not eating, then I'm not eating. You know what I mean? But oh no, they can carry on eating without a worry, without a concern. I know people have to eat. I do know that, and some people act differently to others. But Katie, you know, she just, I just can't get over her behaviour and Chris. Can't, I can't have him. I can't deal with him. 
So it's gonna pull up Google Maps. Right? And just look at possible where right, where where the Saint Dogs went first. But as I said, that scent could have been left there from days before. Easily. Right? So, could have been left there from days before. Alright, I'm just going to share it with you all. The mother of Johnny Goss never gave up and he showed up on her doorstep years later to tell her he was okay, but had to go. Wow. Really? Is that, is that what it's like? <sighs> See, they, as long as everyone bows down to them and gives them what they want, then they are fine. But as soon as you question anything, it's like, no, nope, don't want to know. They don't want to know you. So, anyway, we're at, we're at 108 Stafford Court. Oh, yeah. Now, I've ruled out that second video of the ruckus. Not happening. I ruled that out. Right? Because I will tell you now, the video of, that, of the lights, right? Where we've seen a light here. And a light coming round this way, yeah, came from this house here. This house. Now this house is going to catch catch the floodlights of this garage, of these garages. It's not going to catch their garages, which are there. You know what I mean? And I said there's a load of trees in front of that house around here. There's like five, five or six trees. You imagine when the wind, a slight wind is blowing, the branches, you may not have any leaves on it, but branches, if you're looking, zooming on anything really close, you can see something and your mind can run amok. So I've ruled that out, that one. I've not ruled out the garbage truck. Right? Even though witnesses, when they knocked on the door of these houses, said, the only thing they seen was the garbage truck coming down. Why? But they didn't don't they don't say what time. Why? And people have certain people have, have phoned up the garbage companies and they said it's like a private company that do this garbage here. Right, collections here. And they do start at three o'clock in the morning. Okay, so they probably get round here, I'd say, between four, I'd say between half four and half five. Right, now, let's get up here. He had, he had been kicking up them cars. It was a big ring that was taken, boys, and for his mum's safety, he said he had to go and not stay. Hmm. It was a big ring that was taken, boys, and for his mum's safety. Are you saying for his mum's safety, Sebastian said he had to go and not stay? Or Chris said he had to go? Because I can't see a kidnapping. 
I can't. But if his mother, like I said, like how many times you've got people who live in this area? Well, hold on. This is more built up now. Doesn't look that built up on there. But it is more built up now. There's more houses here. There's houses, more houses finished here. There's houses along here. And all here. Right. And there's a um someone who lives there on that uh, in that area who said they have seen Sebastian walking around the area. Oh Johnny Cosh. Oh, is that what he said when he come home? Wow. So he went back. Wow. Anyway, so they said they've seen him walking around that like area before, just not on the Monday. So we know he used to go around here, right? Now, where's Calvers? Um, hang just something. Is it Calvers or Culvers? Let's have a look at this one first. So you got Culvers. I'm not sure if it was Calvers or Culvers. No. Um, it's a, f hold on, it's a fast food chain specialising in frozen custards and signature burgers made with mis Midwest beef in, right, so that could be it. Apparently, right, get off there. Apparently, he knew his way to Converse or whatever it's called. Right? Now, that's quite a walk. But it's only 13 minutes. But that's by car. To walk, right, takes you a different direction to walk. But as we know, Sebastian only knew way to places by going via the roads. Right? So he will just take it to the roads to get to wherever he was going. So he knew his way to there. Have you ever thought perhaps he took himself there one day? I'm gone. I think he, his drink was drugged at the Texas Roadhouse, took effect while in Katie's car and hanged it to Barasox and Chris Agony, Mississippi River, timing around custody hearing. Yeah, a lot was said about that custody hearing, but I've seen no proof that, because people are saying apparently Sebastian was supposed to be a, a witness or something, but I've seen no proof of that. And to be honest with you, a child going missing from the home you live at is not going to look good when you go back to court for your daughter's custody. 
TV. It's not going to look good. There's no way you're going to get that child if you've got a missing child already. Right, so none of that would help him. So, I don't know. I don't think Chris was happy because soon something happened over that Christmas period. Because over the Christmas period, they had a uh, faith at theirs. And Sebastian was at his dad's. Right? Now, what mother, what mother is going to give up spending Christmas morning with their child? Unless it's in the court custody hearings uh, papers where one year you have them and the father has them the next year or something like that, then fair enough, right? But who is willingly, as a mother, going to say, right, well, you, you go to your dad's this Christmas because faith is coming here, right? His dad said while he was there, He'd be on the phone, FaceTiming for hours with Faith. Now, Faith being, what, six? <coughs> right? So, did Sebastian say something to Faith? While on these FaceTime calls, or on these phone calls? Or, did... Chris literally go mental at faith for being on the phone all the time to Sebastian. And then when she got home, she told her mother something. Because literally in the new year, once all the court buildings were open again, she went in and put in a tea, some, she put in a, a, a motion. To have him to stop him from getting uh, visiting rights or something to put a hold on his visiting rights. So something was said or something happened that Faith went back home, told the mum, and in the new year the mother put in that motion hearing. Right? And I think after that. I think all this bullying by Chris towards Sebastian just got worse. Because he'd find out about this motion and why it was brought on, right? So I think all this bullying, intimidation and everything just got worse and worse for Sebastian. To the point where he used a belt on him. Because we don't know this, but apparently they're saying the belt incident wasn't there. But I think it was. Because when Chris first mentioned the belt incident, he said, he's a 15-year-old lad who was embarrassed because he was caught out in a lie. 15 years. He was 15 in the December. So no way did this incident with CPS happen, happen months ago because he said it was 15. Right? So, I and mean, we know for a fact that CPS or child protect, whoever it is, DCS or whatever, had been called out several times to that house. Because when she came that time, she said, I know you, I want to speak to Sebastian. I know what's been said, but I want to speak to Sebastian. She knew him. He said that. He said she knew me. So that means she'd been there before. And I think that was when he got the five-wheeler at the end of January, and moved down, took it down to wherever he is now, right? 
or not. He stayed there because no one could understand why he was not coming home on the weekends. They could understand him staying in a five-wheeler during the, during the week. Yeah? But on a Friday evening, once you finish work, to get in your car and come home for the weekend. They couldn't understand why he wasn't doing that. As soon as I heard that, right, and I knew DCS had been involved as well, I went, I know why he can't come home. It's because DCS or whoever it was told him, you cannot be in this house while there's an open investigation going on, while Sebastian is here. We know it had been, because people at the Texas Roadhouse had reported seeing uh, Chris there two, week, two weekends before Sebastian went missing. Karen Albany, absolutely. Kathy Barris, yeah, Kathy wanted the daughter, the granddaughter, and that's Chris. And Sebastian reported Chris, Kathy kidnapped Faith, why not off Sebastian? Is she prepared to go to jail for life over a child that isn't even blood? I don't think so. I don't think so. They have been on several vacations, yes. But they've been both playing. They flew, so where are they going to put him? You know what I mean? But have police, law enforcement there, checked their five-wheeler or whatever it is they've got, a motorhome or whatever they've got, have they checked that motorhome or five-wheeler they've got? I sure hope they did. For feck's sake, they left it two weeks before going and checking the camera at that store. Two weeks. By then, it started recording over. They checked all the other cameras from all the houses around there within the first week. So why didn't, hadn't they been to that store? You know what I mean? There's even houses opposite that store. Did they not go and check their cameras, see if they've got any cameras or anything? I think law enforcement dropped the ball. And I think it was because they were looking at it as a runaway. But, saying that, on the Wednesday after he went missing, law enforcement did a 180 on this case. Right, and then on the Monday, on the Sunday, they told Chris and Katie they was now looking, scaling the search back and looking more on the investigator, investigative side of it, and then announced it on the Monday to us, to the press. Right, so. I've still got to get a timeline down. I need to get a timeline so that when I'm talking about this, I can say, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's no actual timeline. Yeah, I know he did. Kathy has the gift. Terry Bowsox went after me and her children with a baseball bat, yeah. Kathy has the gift of coercion. With her husband and son. They are sick. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, I just hate all this in house fighting between YouTubers. There should be no. Chris and Katie or Seth, it's team 
Sebastian, that is it. At the end of the day, we all want the same thing. We want Sebastian home. One way or another, we want him home. But you see, that is not going to work because we know. We just, well, we don't know. We've got a feeling with all the red flags, all those red flags we have pointed out time and time and time again. Right? That there's no way that Chris and Katie are ever going to work along anyone unless you kiss their backsides. Okay, I know those YouTubers who had them on their show at the beginning. Right? And God did they get the views and God did they get the money coming in. Right? But now... I just find some of these YouTubers are backed away. Right, they're backing away from the case. No new evidence coming out. Got nothing to talk about. We've got plenty to talk about. We can go over the old videos again. And again. And again. Because somewhere in there, the truth is being said. Somewhere in all these interviews that Katie and Chris has done, the truth is there. Now, one woman pointed out very clearly the other night, and I'll show you on here. And I was talking about that uh, on another YouTuber's channel today, which was aired last night. But I don't get to see it because I'm in bed. And... The rumours going around about this YouTuber is disgusting. I'm sorry, it's just out of order. I don't see how anyone attacking another YouTuber and bringing their personal life into anything is going to help. I really don't. It's not helping anything. What it will do is say, you know what, to that YouTuber, you know what, I'm getting away from this case, it's bonkers. I'm not having no more. And they pull away. And this is what they want now. They want YouTubers to stop talking about Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. They are now doing to the YouTubers what they have been doing to the searchers. Right? They can't get they can't get to the searchers because the searchers aren't telling them where they're searching or when they're searching. They've got to once, they've managed to find out one searcher, Tiao, right, I won't say her full name, and someone slashed her tyres while she was out searching. Right? But you know what? That hasn't put her off. That hasn't put her off. She'll still, she's still going out there searching. And something else I heard. Hold on, hold on. Right, I apologise for any background noise because my grandson is now in the room with his tablet. Can you get the blanket? Yes, I'll put, the yeah, I'll put it over you. Right, he's now walked in and he's got his tablet on. But I have asked him to turn the volume down a little bit. Don't know how far down he's took it, but he's turned it down. Mm. Come on, I'm coming. I've just got to go and put the duvet over him. It's a great night. Come on. 
Right, so if you hear any background noise, it's just my grandson on his tablet. He has got it down quite low, thank you. He has got it down quite low. Anyway, so we're looking at the routes he could take. So how do we know in all these over all these weeks, right, not since he's gone missing before, that he hasn't gone a walking down this way or whatever to Culver's? Right, or he hasn't gone. No, or he hasn't gone into this scheme here. Right, or even walked along here and gone up to this beach market here. His fifteen-year-old lad, he would. Quite easily walk places. Right? What else is around there? I don't think there's much else around there for young kids. You know what I mean? Mm, so, it's too I've rural. Been, you know what I mean? There isn't a lot. Everything that they want is like round here. Right. Um, it's round here. It's round here. Right. All the entertainment and activities for any child is around here. But he could have walked there. And how do we know while walking there he hasn't met someone? All he wanted was friends, so he's very gullible in that way. There are too many intentional direct distractions to keep the focus of those responsible. I think Tony the Thug, Chris at the vigil, both times Seth exploded on camera. Trying to isolate Seth from PIs. I think Tony needs to pull his head in and stop putting out misinformation. Um, Hold on, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm being told to be a bit quieter because he can't hear his tablet. Is that better? Oh, he's just gave me the thumbs up. <laughs> anyway, so what's saying he hasn't took all these routes? Gone to these places in the weeks before. He's met someone. And then perhaps on the Sunday night, after he apparently took the rubbish trash down. Right? The bins down. Perhaps after that, he's very... He's been very stimulated all day because of where he's been. All the noises, the sounds, the smells, everything. Perhaps he wasn't settling. Perhaps he was too hyped up. And his mother, it was perhaps he wasn't listening to his mother. Perhaps she, now this is just a possibility. I'm just running through them. Perhaps she put him outside. And as a punishment, she knows he don't like, he don't like going outside without shoes on. But perhaps this one night, if for, hold on, yeah? Oh, I'm sorry, I went loud. Oh, I'm part, sorry, I went a bit too loud. Ah, ah, ah. 
right? I'm going a bit too loud then. So I've got to sort of whisper. So if you can hear me still, I hope you can, because I'm whispering, right? Anyway. So she's put him outside the house, yeah? Now, I know for a fact it was round this way. Hold on, I'll zoom in. I'm sure it was round here. Round this way. That there was a pedophile. Pedo that lived there. Right? How do we know that while he's been going on his walkabouts, he's not come across this P person? Right? Because where is a person like that going to go if he's, after, if he's looking for young children? He's, I'm going to be quiet as I can. He's going to go to places around here like the bowling alley, Culver's place and anything else, you know what I mean? Texas Roadhouse and where young, the bowling alley would be the best place, which is round about, that's Texas, I think the bowling alley is round about here somewhere. Or was it over here? Can't remember now. So, people like that hang around areas where young kids are going to be. Right? Now, he could have met him. Sebastian, all he wanted was a friend. He's made friends with him. Possibly, Peter Hyde's analysis is right. Katie locked him out and it backfired. The house, the house was blacked out. Why no lights to take trash out? Yes. Right. But I'm thinking, did he think, I've got a friend who lives just round here. I'll make my way to his. You know what I mean? So he's possibly he could have made his way to this guy's house or this person's house, whoever he is. Because in his eyes, it's just a friend. Just a friend. And that's all Sebastian wanted was a friend. So, and then Kate is going to let him in and he's nowhere to be found. And I think... That is what that three-hour phone call was. Because this happened before 9 p.m. Hello for me. Thank you. Hold on. It's just going me a packet of cookies. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, so he's going off to his friends to find his friends, yeah? She's going to check on him to bring him in. He's not there. She's then on the phone at nine o'clock or whatever time it was she phoned him. He's come home not being able to find him. Yeah? And they don't, well, we just have to put him down as a wrong man. But what I don't understand, if that was the case, if he'd walked off that night after she put him outside, why did she not report him missing then? <coughs> <coughs> right? But you see, they said the house was blacked out. Yeah, no lights to take trash out. But Chris said those garage lights were always on. So surely that would have thrown up a shadow of possibly who took the trash out. You know what I mean? So why weren't those lights on? Being as CP said, those garage lights are always on. So, I agree with Peter Hyatt in a way, 
but I still think there's a bit of a ruckus in the house on the Sunday night. He wasn't going to settle down. She gave him his nighttime medicine to help him sleep. It wasn't working. Because someone said you have to take it an hour or so before you go to bed. So he took that medicine at about 8 o'clock. He wasn't sleeping. He was still on the go at 10 o'clock. She said she heard a noise. That's him. He wasn't settling. She's gone in. So it's been a bit of a ruckus. He's probably lunged for her or something. She's probably moved. He's probably found or she's probably pushed him to one side. Say, get in that bed now. Right? And pushed him to one side. He's bumped his head. Thought nothing of it because he seemed okay. The lamp was knocked. I reckon the lamp in his bedroom was knocked. Because when you knock a lamp over, it flickers. It flickers. Until you stand it upright because the bulb has come loose or something. So it can flicker. And someone said there was a report of a house camera catching the bedroom light flicking on and off. Now that could have been the lamp going flickering. I don't know what time that was. But I seriously think something happened in that bedroom. And the lamp got knocked. His head got hit. He's then gone, got into bed. Because she went the next morning to wake him up. I went and woke him up and he was gone. How can you wake someone up if he's not there? Mm, Karen, not normal to leave you home. Chris said he took respite from work. They both could have stayed home. Guilty can't face neighbours questions. Yeah. And the reason they're not staying there? Got so dog to do with the neighbours. So dog. It's got everything to do with that Katie feeling guilty for what happened on the Sunday night. She can't bear to be in the house on her own. Because she knows what happened on the Sunday night to Sebastian. I, I don't think it did. It's just a possibility I'll just throw out there that he could have walked off if his mum put him outside as a punishment. All right? But I think then she quickly wrapped him up in, the, in some sort of blanket or something. And for the time he was in that car, would his dead body left any sign of uh, decomp decomposition for the time that he was in that car? We don't know. Because I'm not a scientist, I wouldn't like to know. I'd like to ask someone, how long does a body, decom a dead body have to be, have to be in a vehicle for it to leave any signs of decomposition? If it has to be in there for longer than five minutes, then... She's covered because she was only gone 10 minutes, 5 minutes one way, quick swap over with someone, 5 minutes back. And why didn't she phone the police? They said it was a three-way call. Law enforcement can't tell if it's a three-way call. He said she told, her, told Kate to put herself on mute. Why? Would the law enforcement not, not want to talk to her? the mother? She was the one who was last there. She was the one that was last with him. But if you go over to some of the interviews they've done, which a lot of us are doing now, we're going back over these interviews, the word we comes up a lot. Like, in one interview, the person goes, I, you're not having a cookie, leave it alone. Right, I've got a cat that likes, likes chocolate chip cookies. Hmm. Anyway, so, 
in the recent, and another interview, she slipped up and says, we, yes, because they said, um, could, this interview said, could he not have put a jumper on before walking out of the house? We would have seen him. We would have, uh, we saw what he walked to bed. We saw, we saw him go to bed. He was wearing, and she said, well, can you not put a T-shirt, another jump on? And I said, well, that's just um, guessing, really, isn't it? Because we don't know. We don't know. There are a lot of we's come up in that interview. Yeah. So, was he there or was he not? That's a big question as well. But surely it's tracking and it could... We would have heard him go out the window, yes. But tell me, right? If he went out the window after they went to bed, their house, I would situate, he's on the front of the house by the front door. Their bedroom is at the back of the house where you have to go through the lounge through the kitchen area into their bedroom how would they hear him climbing out of a window plus if they've got camera footage of him of his bedroom light going being flickering on and off for like 15 minutes if there's camera footage of his bedroom light flickering on and off would well, that camera not have caught him climbing out the window or caught some movement around that window? You know what I mean? I think it would have caught some movement. So, I don't think he went out the window, but as for them saying, we would have heard, they wouldn't hear. They wouldn't have heard him climb out the bedroom window. How many of you, when you are younger, We'll climb out your bedroom window when your mum and dad's going to bed. Hmm? I bet there was a lot of you. Why? I didn't because I didn't like heights. I never did any of my brothers or other members of my family. We didn't think of doing things like that. We couldn't even creep up our stairs without our mum and dad hearing us. Like, you know, if we'd been out and we'd come back late. Because there was a floorboard right by my mum and dad's bedroom that would creak. There's one just at the top of the stairs and one right by my mum's bedroom door. And I can guarantee you, you will catch that floorboard every feckin' time. Right? And they hear you coming in. And you get up the next morning. Oh! See you coming late last night, didn't you? You know what I mean? So you couldn't get past anything past my mum and dad. I'm sure if we used to climb out of the bedroom when you would have heard us. There's like scalf scalfy. They heard everything. But they wouldn't have heard nothing. Their house their bedroom was at the back of the house. His bedroom was the other side of the house at the front. So they wouldn't have heard him go out the window. That's a load of BS. Why? Could someone come in and talk him? Well, it'd have to be someone who'd know the code to the door. And if you're kidnapping someone, why? Why would you take their glasses? Oh, don't forget his glasses on the side unit there, bed unit there. But not take any shoes for him. You know what I mean? You, pick, you see his shoes as you're in through the door and you pick them up either on the way in or on the way out, you pick a pair up. Didn't matter what pair, just pick a pair up. Right? But a kidnapper would not think about, if they're not going to think about shoes, they're certainly not going to think about picking up his eyeglasses.
Nej. So, I don't think he was kidnapped. I don't think for one iota of a minute he walked. The only reason he would leave that house barefoot is if he thought his life was in danger. Right? If he was running for his life. And as you've heard, he used to be able to outrun his mother. So I'm sure he could outrun Chris. Mr. Blobby. If anyone knows who Mr. Blobby is, it was a character, some guy used to dress up in this big pink balloon sort of outfit with white spots on. I'm going to call him Mr. Blobby. Right? So I'm sure he could outrun Chris. But if someone was running, and there's two people running, surely some camera would have picked something up. Yep. Yeah? Somewhere along that way, some camera would have picked him up. If that house on the corner of the road, and I'll show you it, hold on. Let's go back to... Here. Alright, uh, just go back there. Uh. Oh god. Wrong right, right. Right, we're at wrong right. 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 Give him a little wave. This was in July 2023. So they would have been living there at that time. So we'll give him a little wave. Hello. Um, now, if, they could be, if he could have been running down here or round the back way, right? I'm sure some camera would have caught him because... He had a little spotlight with him, a little hand torch. Yep. Yeah. This camera there. This camera. That's the camera that caught. Oh, God. The two lights. Right. Now, I think the one light was the stationary light, could have been this light, and the second light was coming round here. Right? And the reason we kept, you know, we, it kept going on and off, I think it's because that was in the ditch. The person was walking in this ditch. Right, so, that's just my opinion. If that was the case, if those lights are for anything, for real, for any reason, that's my, just my opinion. And the two big lights are from this house, these garages here. Because the lights we're seeing were round about here. Because there's one light, so the other light would have been round about here. So, and then we seen this light going back, and then it went out of focus, then it come back again, right? Don't know what it kept coming back for. Could have been the refuge man. Could have been right. The refuge van. Could have been here. Could have been him. Right? We don't know. Personally, I don't think it was a refuge. Right, the bow socks are so sneaky. Look how they got Nina's infant baby. They tricked her. Oh, I have watched Nina's interview. Oh, I have, Karen. It took me nearly four weeks 
after it came out for me to actually sit down and watch it because I've only been seeing clips of it and I thought I can't watch that whole interview, I can't. But then I thought I've got to, for research reasons, I've got to do it. And I did. I did sit and watch it. But I made sure I had a box of tissues by the side of me. And what they put her through was horrendous. Horrendous. What her two children went through was horrendous. How he smacked that daughter, her daughter in the face, when she got braces in, was it her braces on her teeth or something? And split all her lip, lip open? Disgusting. So, could that have been Sebastian walking this way? If it isn't a garbage truck, which I don't think it was, I truly believe those lights, you know those lights where people have zoomed in and zoomed in and zoomed in on this one area. It's a garage lights to this. And look at all these trees out here. Okay, they've got, bran they've got leaves on there. But this is when they had no leaves, so it's just big branches. And when a breeze catches a branch, it doesn't have to be a strong breeze. It can just be a light breeze. Believe me, I know. I can stand at my window and I watch the trees down by where I am. And I can tell when I've got, well, when we've got strong winds, I, I hear it. But I could go there now and look out and you, you see the branches moving. Even though the trees are full of leaves now, you still see the branches moving. And if you zoom in on anything, and zoom in on something, and zoom in on something, your mind can play tricks with you. Really can. Because they're trying to say that that was their garage. It wasn't. Because it's the same footage where the two lights were, right, that came here. And that footage came from that camera. So there's no way on this earth these lights here were people fighting. Where there's having a bit of a ruckus. Because see that red roof there where my little hand is? That's their house. Right? There's no way that camera could have caught their garage. Right, because there's the neighbour's house. Right, nice big house. There's their house. Yeah. There's their garages. So you tell me how that camera from that house at 1001 could get their garages. Can't be done. Sorry, not happening. If they come out to me and say, oh no, if law enforcement come out and say, oh no, that footage was taken from this house up here. And it's going around back here. I think it was this house. This house, if they come forward and said it came from 1016 Stafford Call, then I go, okay, let's pull that footage up again. Because that camera could possibly get their garage in. All right? But it doesn't. It come from 101 Stafford Court. 1001 Stafford Court. So, let's go back down. All the way back down. But you're telling me all those houses we've just gone past. Not one. Not even this one. Which caught, caught the lights. 
Why? Caught, caught Sebastian leaving. Right? Caught any movement at all around this area. Right? And then, apparently, he came round the back of the houses, as I've just said. And he's gone all the way up here. Not one of these houses, as you can see. Right? Nice houses. And if you notice, all the garages have got lights over the garages. Not one of these houses, who I should imagine cost a lot of money, have got any camera. That is rubbish. Right? The film on this changes because this is now November 20, 2007. Don't know why. Right? Okay, so up, up. And it's gone all the way up here. Now, this is before they've cut these trees down and started putting the road through there. Right, because over there is that new housing complex, yeah, where the construction site was. So it's come all the way up that road into there, right, just stuck by a retention pond. And then that was it. Nothing else. Hmm. Perhaps that footprint was from another day when he's been shut out. We don't know. We don't know because they won't admit to the fact that something happened on the Sunday evening. And I think it all started back in the December and at Christmas. I really do. And it just piled up and come up and up and up and up. With court hearing after this. Hi, hi Ellie. With one court hearing this and one court hearing there. And all this lot. I think it's just. And with Katie not being able to have her, love, her man in her life at home. Right, to keep her company and warm at night. Sweetheart, you're better off without him. Especially after the phone call we heard him doing with one of the uh, YouTubers. That was just creepy and vile. If I heard my husband on a phone call like that to a YouTuber, knowing my son was missing, right? You know where my husband would be? Out the door or six foot under. Right. Right, Ellie. We've just been going over the Google Maps of and possibilities of how or where Sebastian could have gone. Right. I don't know if you've seen that recent interview with Chris and Katie on a certain YouTuber's channel. Please go and watch it if you haven't seen it. If you really must, I'd advise you to get a sicky bucket by the side of you because it's going to make you want to puke. I am not even going to mention the name of the channel it was on. Because... I, it's a channel I don't follow, never have followed. Right. I've listened, I went on it once, right, and, um, well, ages ago, before I even started my own channel. And I was listening to it, and I thought, what the hell are they talking about? Right. Now, there's some channels that just, they are honest, and I say they are a channel where they discuss other channels, right? So they literally talk about other people's channels. Or they talk about other YouTubers. No, not her channel. It begins with a Q. The first word begins with a Q. And the second word begins with a B. Right. 
book, if you really want to watch it, go on, if you can't find it, go on um, Dolly's, Dolly Vision site. He's got it on there. Even though he breaks it down and stops it, and it's just, sometimes it's just hilarious the way he goes on about things. But it is on that site, Dolly Vision's. I mention him because I like Dolly Vision. All right, he can be a bit in your face sometimes, but that's who Dolly is. All right. So, but I don't watch that channel either, Ellie. Don't watch it. I was subscribed to her, but then within about two weeks, I suddenly boop, you're gone, I'm not listening. All right. Because I'm just fed up and there's a lot of other time. What's it about? It's about <laughs> CP and KP come up and they're talking about Sebastian. But not that you think they was talking about Sebastian because they hardly ever mention his name. Right? They talk about, she talks a lot about what he likes to eat. How's that going to help us find your child? You know what I mean? How's that going to help anyone find your child? And then you just got CP going on about how everyone keeps running them down and, and harassing them and following them and stalking them and hooting their horns as they go past. You know what I mean? It's a load of BS. Oh, Donny is my grandson. Okay, I've just got to put him on the sofa again with my do with the do van. Oh my god! I told you I'd be back. Oh, did ya? No. You've been in wrong with sports, nigga. I'll be back. He's an actor. And that's his famous saying, I'll be back. Okay? So now I've got, so that's what I'm basically right about. It's just about Chris and Katie talking. And you got these YouTube channels, YouTubers up on the panel. And, oh, sorry, I'm being told to be quiet here. And you've got YouTubers up on the panel. And they're kissing ass. Turn it. Turn it down. Right. And they're just kissing ass. Because he says, if you show me respect, I'll show you respect. Well, I'm sorry. But we're not going to bow down just because you say we have to. We're not going to, it's not going to happen. No way. How? Freeze over 10 times. 10 times before I would even think of having that vile piece of person, a human, what you call a person. On my page, on my, on any of my lives. Even when in five, ten years' time, I've got a bigger channel. I won't have people like that on my channel. Because in my eyes, they don't do nothing or say anything that is going to help find Sebastian. And you've got people saying, Oh, but it's so nice hearing Katie talk about Sebastian. What? About the food he eats? You know what I mean? And laughing. Oh, those mimicking his, um, the way he talks what is how it's, uh, not the sound of his, uh, when he talks. Those mimicking that and laughing about it. I'm thinking, this is your son. You're laughing about the way he, he sounds. I'm going to have to sit and watch it, but not this weekend, not while I've got my children. I'll probably watch it. I'll try and watch it tomorrow. I'll put my headphones on if, I, if my headphones will work. I'll try and watch it tomorrow afternoon. But otherwise, 
I'm not really bothered if I don't watch it. But it's on Dolly Visions. And I'm just fed up of whenever I go on YouTube now, there's channel after channel beating each other up. Right? Going after YouTubers and going into their personal lives. Right, and this is why a lot of us don't come out publicly and use our full name, we don't show our faces, you know what I mean, because we don't want people digging into our lives, we don't come on here for that, we come on here to get the names and pictures out of these missing children, right, and just because someone don't like what you've said on your channel, I'm sorry, that's their problem, not mine. It doesn't give them the right to go and dig into someone's... Just because someone's had someone up on their channel or they've said something on their channel that you don't like, it doesn't give you the right to go and dig into their life and then plaster it all over YouTube. I'm sorry, that's not on. So, anyway, as you can see, we're back at Stafford Court. Now, this house will get picked up. I'm sure they will get picked up if it had gone that way. They really would. And I'm sure this house has got a camera on. I'm, not, I'm going to have a look. I'm not sure if that's a camera there. See, it's got a light. But is that, I think they're my floodlights. But is that a camera? Which aimed down at their driveway. So it's just to keep an eye on their cars, if anything. But surely if a child had walked past, would have caught something. A movement or something. All right, plus if a child had walked past here, would it not have set their floodlights off? And then you've got these houses over here. And you can't see much on these houses. It's really hard to see anything. But... We know they've got cameras on there. We know they have. And yet not one of them. You heard it in that dispatch call. Nothing on camera. Nothing on camera. You know what I mean? Not one has all up here caught anything on camera. That don't make sense. Yeah, I hate, that's why I always say everyone's allowed their opinion, right? And there might be channels I don't like, so I just don't talk about those channels, right? I don't talk about them. And, but I will never put another YouTuber down. You know what I mean? Each YouTuber is individual to another. They have their own ways. Some are in true crime, and I mean true crime, like this, where they will come on and they talk about actual cases, and then there's some who will come on and talk about actual cases, but then after about, what, a month or so, they stop talking. But every so often they'll throw the name out there, they throw the name of the missing child out there like Sebastian Rogers and I'm thinking but you're not actually talking about him you've just thrown his name out there right I watched one today and it was of she was going on about another YouTuber right and she was literally going into her back life but while this huge, while she's playing this video of this YouTuber, who was complaining about 
reading this email she'd been given, she'd received. Right? So this YouTuber was playing this other YouTuber's video of her reading an email. On her back wall, she got a picture of Sebastian. Now, I don't think, if they're not going to talk about Ellie and... I've just seen M cars is here, and, and Karen. Yeah, there was here. There was here. Karen was here, she was... Yeah, M cars and Karen was here. Right. So, um... If you're not going to talk about that child on your channel, that on that live, then don't show their picture, please. Because you're talking about other things that are like shouldn't be discussed when you're talking about a ch missing child's case. And I don't. That's why I don't fall for all these. I try. I have. I've mentioned it a few times, a couple of times on a live. He's just come and took those cookies off me. He just come up to me and said, Gran, you know those, you know those uh, biscuits? Are you eating them? I went, no. Why do you want them? Yeah. He's took my biscuits off me. You know, of course. Right. So, I can't mind him. He's being good. He's listening to his tablet very quietly. So I've got a whisper as well. Because everyone's still tell me to shh. He literally tells me to shush and shows me his two little fingers and goes, shh. shh. Okay. Right, so. Um, I know. Disgusting, isn't it? Disgusting. I was going to have them later. <laughs> oh, dear. I'll have some else instead. But now, um, I don't think if you're not going to, if you're going to talk about something which is not suitable for children, young children's ears, right, then you shouldn't be having a picture up of a child, a missing child, up on your site for that live. Just move the picture out of the way. You're not talking about that child, so just move that picture out of the way. All right? And I don't like it when people put them, uh, like, say they said, um, put, like, say I put this, Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers, where could he be? Let's chat. And then we come on and we ended up talking about something totally different. Not even mention Sebastian's uh, name. Could I put my over me? Yeah. And, um, and I spoke about something totally different. I don't like that either. Are you lying on the sofa? Get me sausage balls. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Can you heat your nap? Can you heat my nap? What, the sausage balls? Yeah. 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 I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to eat it. I'm doing it in me. He only wants a sausage roll now. It's like a walking dustbin, my grandson is. I'm sure, he, I'm sure he's got hollow legs. Yeah, clickbait. Clickbait. Yeah. And so I am going to go through some of my subscribers and unsubscribe because they don't talk about the cases. They do to start off with, but then they don't. And they fade away because there's no information coming out. But see, this, as I said, because a lot of them are now picking up and having a go at other YouTubers, 
right, is forcing other YouTubers to back off the case. Just like they did with the searches. Intimidate them, threaten them. What do they do? They back off. And that's what they can't get to the searches now because they're not telling them where they're going or when they're going or anything. They don't know where they are. So they could be driving around for hours and hours and they may not even be in that area. They could be totally somewhere out of Hendersonville. They could be anywhere. Right? So they can't get to the searches as much. So now they're going, they're causing trouble between YouTubers. They're picking up on something and running with it with a YouTuber. And um, don't worry, I got picked up the other day, pulled up twice by two different people who left me a comment on my YouTube channel. Apparently I spelled Sebastian's name wrong. It was just a typing error. And then I spelled something else wrong and another something else. I thought, for fuck's sake, have you got the um, grammar police here? You know what I mean? Christ. We're all human, we all can make mistakes. Now I've just, he's just said to me, Gran, will you put that duvet over me? So I put the duvet over him on the sofa and he's only going to kick it off. I give up with him. I really do. Anyway, so we're looking at this. Let's pull this up, right? So, I don't think he ran away. I really don't. Because the way they said that dog tracked was from the front door, which is here. And it came round this way, down here. Round here, and all the way up there, over to the retention pond, which is somewhere, as I said, this is going into the old now. Right, somewhere up here. And now we know there's trees aren't there now, because there's a road coming through this way. And there's houses being built all around here now. So the retention pond was over. It's over here somewhere. Right, it's over here. Right, I believe it was somewhere around about. Could be here. That could be a retention pond area there. And I know there's one over by the cemetery over that way somewhere. Oh, God's sake. Just saying, my want a little boy of six years old. He's really, really good. But he just keeps farting. Right, so... That's the route he took by the dogs, apparently. See, the road comes up here. See, those trees aren't there now, those trees. And they still haven't got the road in because they're still building around here. And I don't think these trees are here anymore. I think these trees are gone. I'm not sure. They may still be there, I'm not sure. But that looks like where one retention pond was. So that could have been where the retention pond was that the dog led them to. But just make... Makes me think, even if someone had a car, would no one have caught that car coming up on their cameras? Now, don't forget, there's more houses here. There's houses there now, and there, and houses here, and here. Right, this site is all fully built up now. There's these two houses there. It's all fully built up. There's houses here. Right, this house is here. Or here, one of the two. It's either here or there. 
right? So, but you're telling me not one camera caught a car coming up into this, right? So, even if they did pull a car up up to here, and someone got Sebastian to come over this way, and then they bundled him into a car, right? You're telling me not one of these houses that is now there. This house is nearly think I think they're just working on the garden area now of that house. Right? But you're telling me none of these houses will get caught a car. This house is definitely finished. So we will get found a car somewhere. In relation to the private types, I file the retention point. Right. From what I can understand and make out, right? See this where my arrow is? Yeah. That looks like a retention pond area. There was two retention ponds. But I think the other one was over... I don't know where the other one was, but there's two. Right, but say it was that one there. Say that's the retention pond. Right. Now, you could probably cut through these gardens unless there's a fence there. We don't know. But if not, these trees here do not, are not there now. I'm not there. So, from there to that retention pond, not very far. Right, I'll pull out a bit so you can see a bit better. See, so say that's the retention pond. From there to there, not very far. And then from there, down here, down here, down, round, there. Five minutes walking distance. Five, ten minutes at the very most. So it's not very far. Like I said, he loved big machinery. How do we know he didn't used to go over there and watch the machinery when they was working? You know what I mean? Somewhere else I heard, I think I mentioned it last night, I'm not sure, that apparently Sebastian had left it at a house early one morning to go and get the school bus. And when his mum got up, he wasn't there. And she found him waiting at the school, at the, at the stop where the school bus would pick him up. So does the school, I don't know where the school bus picks him up. I don't know if it picks him up on the corner here. Or if it picks him up on this corner down here. You know what I mean? But it's not that far from there, then, to the school. I swear to God, if I lived there, right, and I was at school, I would not be getting no bus. I'd be flipping walking it. Because there's the school. Christ, he walks up here daily and walks around this new estate up here. Right. And apparently the dogs hit on this barn here. I'm going to see if I can get in. It's a house. But the dogs hit on this barn round here. I can't get on with my little man. He's not let me. Walk along. See if I can get my little man here. Right? See that barn? Apparently, the dog's hit on his scent around there. So has he ever cut through there before? Or just gone up there being nosy? Because don't forget he's a lad. All he wants is friends. The scent dog's hit at the pond. Is that right? Yes. Which was... I'll, go, I'll pull it up again. I'll get it up for you again. 
Oh. Yeah. Um, just pull out me. No. No. See, there it looks like a pong there. Oh, and a pong here. Right. So, as I said, it's not far. Do you think that if that's a retention pond, they empty? From there down to his house. And don't forget, you can also cut through some some of the houses. Um, some of the gardens, you can even cut through. Right? So there's his house. And I think, see here, just here. There's a little passageway from there that goes right between these two fences. <coughs> <coughs> right into the common area between these two houses. Into Kelling Lane. Right, or we could walk up here and probably cut through here somewhere. So there's all these little cut throughs he could take, but it's not very far. The retention pond is not very far. And I was right, that was that is a retention pond. Right, because when you go on this one, this one. Yeah, see it shows him. And that was emptied. That was emptied. And there's another one over here. Another pond there. But I don't know if they could call that a retention pond. Because look, you got one there. Got little ponds all over the flipping place. You've even got one here. Right. No, I mean, you've got one round here. But I believe it was this one up here that the dog led them to. No. But, as I said, he, he could have gone through here if he was to run off on his own. He could have gone through this way, cut through somehow, up onto this walk line, all the way up here. These ponds, these little lakes and ponds here, have they been checked? This is a gate end, it just leads to a house. But he could have gone anywhere if he's left on his own. And as I said, the only reason that lad would leave that house in the middle of the night, or even on the night time, with no shoes, no coat, no money, no phone, nothing, is because he, he left that house in fear. Something happened in that house on the Sunday for him to either run out of that house in fear, or... Walk out that house. But either way, I don't think he did. Because I'm telling you now, one of those cameras, one of these cameras in this area, in this area, I should say, this area, I, and don't forget, as I said, a lot of these houses are now built up. Because, I'm going, if I zoom in, you can actually see how much money. Right, you can take the little man down to there. Right, the little man isn't won't, isn't allowed in on that stage. What are you calling your dumb man? This little man on here, not you. Right, see, you, you can see, see that house. I know, you're my big boy. Right, that house is all completed. And if you look, there's 
house is being built here now. There's all these houses built. You're telling me, if someone had gone up here and parked a car up to kidnap him, to abduct him, to do a transfer, none of these houses would have seen him on a camera. You know what I mean? We know they've got cameras there because the one guy said, they've been checked them and one guy said, it's seen the lag there before, but not that guy. So I'm sure if they'd seen a car going up their road that dog what, between 12 and 6 a.m., the police would have seen it. Right? And track the car down. That's why I don't think there was no hangover whatsoever. I don't even think there was a hangover at the store. And now we're going to the store. We're going to take a little ride up to the store. Right? Now, I'm just noticing as well if there's any cameras around. Because sometimes if there's a camera on the school and it's pointing this way, it might pick up someone walking past. Because it's been known to, cameras have been known to pick up people walking past. Right, if there's cameras on any of these buildings, would your spot could have picked them up walking past. Now, now we're coming up to the lights where we have to turn. Right. Okay, we're on the wrong side. Get over on the right side, Angie. I'm the UK, I'm not used to the US driving. See, it could have walked up here as well any time in the weeks before. He could have met anyone. Anyone. And I hope to, if any if any searcher is going to find this child, it'll be Jules with her dogs. It'll be her. I hope Jules, the Kang Yong Angler, can search again. She's searching. She's still searching. She goes on the weekends. She just gets, she's waiting to get permission off someone for one area that she'd like to search. I don't know what the, where the area is, but I've got a good idea, but I'm not going to say nothing on here because I don't want anyone who's in the bushes maybe or watches this again later. Think, oh, is that where she's looking at going to search? You know what I mean? So I'm not going to mention anything. Some YouTuber did. And when I heard it, I thought, are you serious? Are you serious? You're giving out location, possible locations here. Well, I wish YouTubers would stop that. Let, just let the searchers go and do the search with that. You know what I mean? We don't need to know where they're searching, as long as we know they are searching. We don't need to know anything else. If anything is found, it'll get reported to the police. But like I said, they took them two weeks to come to this door to get the video. How long did it take them to come here and get any possible videos of these houses? You know what I mean? There might not be any videos. You don't know. Most people have ring doorbells nowadays. It's really hard to say. It's really hard to say. That looks like a push chair or something. But after being in spoke, spoke to these people who live in these houses, 
It makes me wonder being as awake two weeks. You know what I mean? To go and get the camera footage from that store. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so, let's go back. I'll go the quick way. <laughs> I'll go the quick way. But as I'm saying, in all those weeks before he went missing, he could have gone walking up here. If he knew the route to Culver's, he could have gone to Culver's. Which is down here somewhere. Uh, here. <coughs> <coughs> he could have walked there. And lied on a mission. You know what I mean? But all this needs to get searched again properly, even if it means getting on your flipping hands and knees and going through every stick and bramble and bush and knocking everything down flat with a stick. You know what I mean? So, but the searches have start, are starting up again this weekend. I'll just hope telling you this weekend keeps his mouth shut. Okay. I'm going to finish in a minute, okay? I'm going to say goodnight to him. No. I'm going to say goodnight? Okay. I'm not a part of that. Oh, you're not a part of this. I said, would you want to say goodnight to, the, to everyone you went? <laughs> it's like I'm not a part of that, <laughs> which is fair enough, is not. And that's another reason why I try not to say to anything too inflammative, you know what I mean, when little ears are about. But I just don't see the point in talking about any S-I-N and R-A-P-I-N-G and People go, and someone said, I ha it was on a YouTube channel. I hate it when people don't use a full word, when they use the S-A and they won't say the proper words for things just because they don't get paid if they use these certain words. So no, it's not just that. I just don't like using the words. Full stop. I don't like using them. No, it is a nasty taste in my mouth. So I won't use them if I can help it. I'm not getting paid for any of this. I'm not monetized yet. And like, people go, but when people say their channels, their lives aren't monetized, what they mean by they're not monetized, they don't have adverts, right? They don't set it for adverts on their lives. So YouTube don't make any money from their lives. But they do monetize their replays. Because that's when they, they allow adverts to go on or whatever. But they won't monetize. So they're not making any money through these adverts off YouTube because they don't allow it. On their lives. That's what they mean. They're not monetized on their lives. They don't monetize any of their live channels when they're talking about young children. That is, you're going to bed early. Good night, sweetheart. Right, uh, what was that again, Karen? Jill said, after 90 days, the saint is almost, is most likely lost. Yeah. Terry Lynn and Charlie have been out there live online. I watched them. She found buried she she seems positive it's coming. She called Jules. Yeah. I'm gonna put it up there. So as I said, if anything, it's gonna be Jules.
but let's see if I had, I know they had the police dog thing, right? But as she said, police handlers and their dogs aren't held to the same standards, right? Believe it or not, as her dogs are, right? So, oh, to my grandchild, <laughs> yeah. He just said, I'm not part of that. <laughs> Which is true, he's not. But he's been very good. He's been sitting in here with his tablet down really low. Really low. So it shows he can do it. He doesn't need to have his tablet up as high as he does. I know he's got problems with his hearing. And they're waiting to get that checked. The waiting for the appointment to come through. We was just talking about that today when we... When I was there picking him up from school. So she said it could be, I told her, three to four months. And I think it's in a couple of weeks, it's coming up to four months. So, so I'll wait. And then, if I haven't heard anything by then, then I'm going to phone him up. And see what's going on. So. And my granddaughter today. Oh my God, when we went to pick my granddaughter up. My granddaughter wouldn't come to me. <laughs> I don't know why. I think she was just tired. Well, she was tired. She was miserable. She was mildly, everything. You name it, she was it. And this little boy came up to me and said, he tapped me on my leg. And I looked down and I went, hello. Because I'm waiting for the mother who was talking to the teacher. And he said, you my mummy? I went, no, sweetheart, I'm not your mummy. So why don't you go back over there to the teacher and sit with the teacher? Your mummy will be here soon. Just go and sit with the teacher. Then he turned around and there's this big guy there. Big guy. Daddy, my daddy, I said. And this guy looked at me and I I don't think that's your daddy either, sweetheart. Uh, so go and sit down with the teacher. And he kept putting his hands out. So I bent down to his, got down, knelt down to his heart. And he gave me, me this lovely, lovely cuddle. A really lovely cuddle. And then he's, he's going up to the door and there's a teacher by the door stopping him from going out. And he's just looking for his mum. I felt so bad for him. So anyway, my granddaughter wouldn't give me a cuddle. So I said, I'll see if my little friend here will give me a cuddle. So as I got up to the door, I said, can I have another cuddle? And he put his arms out, so I bent down again, and he gave me this lovely cuddle again, such a little sweetheart. No, I think it'd be hard for anything to be picked up now. But you never know. You just never know. But don't forget her one dog. I can't remember which one it is now. It's trained to pick up decomposition. Decomp. Yeah, it's so sweet. So, so sweet. But I felt so bad sad for him because his mum hadn't turned up yet. I thought, oh dear. Oh, he's shouting his head off in my bedroom <laughs> at something. He's probably shouting at something he's watching on YouTube. Right. Anyway, so um, but anyway, one dog is tr is trained in decomp, so he could find a body. Right. Now I think that's the dog. She said she lets wonder off without a lead, but he never goes far. He stops, checks back with her. Make sure she's following, then he'll continue on what whatever scent he's picked up, in whatever way he's going, right? But the ever the ever dogs she has on, I think she has them all on a lead. To be honest with you, a long lead, one of them long leads. Um, so if anyone's going to pick up anything, it's going to be one of her dogs. She's got three dogs, one. Armed and ready to assassinate, Ara. Hi, I love that name. Armed, ready to assassinate. Hi. And um, 
She's got. Mm. What's that other dog's name? The one who picks up uh, medicines and drugs, illegal drugs and all that. Oh, she got that one, and he's also changing other things as well. Um, but the other dog is something else and decomp decomposition. So if anything, that's the dog she'll be using. You know what I mean? I think so as well. Um, you know what, I'm going to have to do some research on these dogs. What they can do, what certain dogs and how long. Like she said, someone's asked her, can the dog pick up a scent in concrete? And she said, yes, it can. Because there was a case where it was something like 12 feet deep. And this, not her dog, another dog in the UK apparently picked up a scent of a body. And it was in, under 12, foot, 12 feet deep. And it was under concrete and everything. So dogs who are trying to sniff out decomposition, decom, like, they can sniff out through concrete and everything. So, CP, if you have had that time, just by pure chance, you've had a couple of hours' time to dig a hole, put a child in it, 12-foot hole, put a child in it and fill it up with concrete again without anyone hearing or seeing, the dog will find it. Well, you know how to find it in water? Apparently, when a body is in water, it fills up with gases, yeah? And that's what makes it float to the top, yeah? But it also gives off, um, like, these oils from the body, right? And it's the oils that come to the top of the water. And you see, we can't smell it. But a dog can, and apparently that's what they smell, is the oil, on t these oils that gather on top of the water. That's how they know if there's a body in the water, because the doggies, dogs, doggies, the dogs smell that scent on top of the water. See, I have learned something in this case. I've learned a lot. I've learned to, how to tell a bullshitter. And I've learned how to tell a father or a parent who is truly, truly breaking. And the fact they keep going after Seth. But Tony isn't helping. Tony is not helping. And that's why they're going after Seth as well, because of Tony. That's why I said Tony wants to help. Fine. If Chris Seth wants him to help, fine. But Tony needs to, to reel himself in and start checking, fact checking every bit of information that comes to him. Have you ever looked up <coughs> 6Q27 chromosome deletion? There are different severities. Seth had a very difficult time being stay-at-home dad of a baby who slept only four hours, wouldn't eat, many hospital lies. Hmm. It wouldn't have been easy for him. So... But it just annoys me when people are jumping in and they're having a go at us YouTubers about not fact-checking. We fact-check everything. Everything. That's why when those, like, feature of that lights come out and I thought, no, the angle of that camera seems too high. Something didn't seem right, didn't, didn't sit right with me. 
And then people was telling me it's their backyard and their common area. For, and I'm looking at the houses around the back end and for, there's nothing high enough to get an angle like that. Nothing. <coughs> 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 but I did guess right where it came from. I did guess it came from that 1001 Stafford Court. I knew it come from there. For some reason, I just knew it. I think it's the way that um, that one light came round a bend. You know what I mean? It's like it come round a bend. And with the two spot uh, house lights in the background for... This looks more like this area. Someone else mentioned that. Could, perhaps she didn't really bond with him, you know what I mean? Perhaps she joined the Navy too quickly after having him and she didn't bond. You know what I mean? But, <coughs> in, to be honest with you, I think he must have been at least what, about one. Maybe 18 months before she joined the Navy. Because you... Right? Because after, you can't go for the Navy while you're pregnant. You can't. So you've got to wait until you've had that baby before you can sign up for the Navy. And then you've got to go through all these medical tests and all these fitness tests and everything before you get into a Navy or anything like that. So... She would have been at home for, for the first 18 months. So why, why didn't she bond? Doesn't make sense why she didn't bond with him. But then again, some parents don't bond with the kids. You know what I mean? They don't. And they could be at home with them all day and they just don't bond with them. They just don't have that feeling from the moment they're born. They just get, even when they're carrying, they just don't have that m bonding with the preg during the pregnancy. They don't. So it's sad. And you've got Chris saying she's mourning her child. She's upset for her child. Yeah, so she goes on alive and mimics the way he talks and then laughs about it. Right? I'm quite surprised we haven't seen her in a video mimicking the way he runs. But I wouldn't put that past him soon or later. They're going to do a video of her mimicking the way Sebastian runs. Because... I'd be, if, if this is not a grandchild of mine, and my son or daughter-in-law or, or whatever, or my daughter and son-in-law was mimicking the way the child talked or the way they ran, I'd literally put them six foot under. I really would. Yep. Yep. Kate had to go to school in the Navy. I'm a nurse. We always had to to document the signs if mother was bonding. So she must have had time before actually joining the Navy to bond with the child. Because as I said, she's not going to be able to go to the recruitment office while she's pregnant because they're going to look and go, come back when you've had the baby. You know what I mean? Come back once the baby's holding up then after you've had the baby. So after having the baby, she's got to get mentally and physically fit, right, for all the tests and checks they do on you, before you even get accepted into the Navy. And it's not, oh, we'll do it one day, next day you'll accept it. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, can did you... Ex did did you experience such new mums? I must admit, I couldn't be away from my child when I first had my son. Right? I hated it because 
um, where I was in the hospital. Within first year. But that would still take a time within the first month or so to bond with a child, maybe. He was very supportive of her career. And she started it, A, for the money, and B, for the, um, like, the Medicare you get, right? Because over there you get, um, like, in certain jobs you get Medicare or something, med uh, medical insurance with your job. So she took it for that reason as well, so that she'd have insurance, medical insurance for Sebastian. Because they knew he was needing some care and some treatments and things like that. So Well, it's just, I just feel sorry that for her, that she never felt that way like most mums do, right? I feel sorry for any mother, any mother like that, right? So, anyway... I'm going to have to say goodnight because he's getting restless now. Well, it's, can you turn in the gate? It's like my life. In the bedroom. It's no, in here. Go on then. It's dark. Turn the light on then. He's back in here. <laughs> it's like the jack and box is back and forth, back and forth. Anyway, I just thought we'd talk about Possible ways he could have gone, right, by looking at Google Maps again. Some were very nervous, some always went out for cigarettes and weren't bothered with baby crying. Katie was from foster home, didn't learn to bond, yeah. You take an entry test and you should pass to give you an entrance date for boot camp, usually in a few months, and then you go to school and then you get orders. When she left, may it be the medical insurance ceased? I don't know because someone said she'd still be in that position where she could call, be called back up at any time if needed. So would the insurance not be there because she was getting a pension from it? Would she not still get the insurance through it? So, well, I must admit, when, when I had my first, my son, right, there was a little room we could go to where we could smoke, right? Could do it with my daughter as well. Can't do it now, right? And I didn't go in there very often, at, well, at all, really, until the last day. And I'd settled him down. He tagged his feet. He had an happy change, he had some loves and cuddles. And he was fast asleep and I thought, I knew my mum and dad was coming to pick, and my husband was coming to pick us up within about half an hour. So I thought, well, I'm going to go to that room, I'll have a cigarette. And I stood there, and while I stood there, I was looking out this window, and I seen my, my dad's car go past, and I felt so nervous. Like, oh my God, I've got to leave this security of this hospital and take this little baby home with me. You know what I mean? I felt so nervous about taking him home and leaving that security of the hospital. When I had my daughter, they said, oh, you can go home in six hours. I went, what? What? Because then it was like a turnaround. Six hours after you gave birth, if everything was okay, you was out the door. I went, no, 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 don't do that. I said, I won't get any rest while I'm at home, right? I said, I've got, I think my son was what, uh, two. I said, I've got a two-year-old. 
and I've got a big baby. And she looked at me, I said, my husband. I said, I'm not going to get no rest. You know what I mean? I said, can I not stay for a couple of days? And so this midwife said, you can stay up to four days, but you've got to go by then. I went, thank you, thank you. So they let me stay for the four days. Right? Because there's no way I was coming out of that hospital after six hours. If she's in wartime or has a disability, she still gets insurance. I like doing know she doesn't have some sort of disability. You know what I mean? We don't know, do we? There's all lots of disabilities people can have, but you don't physically see it. So she might have had some sort of disability, so she might still get the insurance. So it's hard to say. But as I said, I just can't get over the fact that no cameras saw, saw him walking past anywhere, or even if a car had gone up onto that new housing estate, you know, new complex, there would have been a sighting of a car on someone's camera going up that way <coughs> at whatever time. <laughs> there goes my motive. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, but if Sebastian went missing, he couldn't go to his dad's, could he? Right? If he went to his dad's, would she not would he not be then getting the disability money for him? Because he must be getting some disability payment. See over in the UK it's different. It doesn't matter how much you earn. If you've got the medical notes from your doctors or the hospital, right, which I have, then you will get the disability. And it doesn't matter if you're in a thousand pounds a week job. It doesn't matter how much you earn. It does not affect your earnings, does not affect your disability payment. The disability payment is there so that, so say you are at work and you are back at work, and for some reason you cannot get into work that week because of your disability, right? Whatever reason it could be, it could be anxiety, depression, whatever, right? Anything. So, or back trouble. You've got to have time off work because you can't move because your back's playing up and hurting and everything. That money then is to cover you for when you're not at work. So, when when your monthly payment comes in at the end of the month, you could be down a week's money in your wages. But you know you're covered because you're going to get your disability for the whole month. Not just for that week that you're ill. You get it for every week of the year. So you know you're covered. So you don't have to worry about not, not having your full wages and whatever because you've got that money to fall back on. Many sailors cheat on their spouses and many spouses cheat on their sailors. It's crazy. I was always faithful. Is you in the Navy then, MCOS? Wow, well, look at this one. Chris was with Nina. Katie was with Seth. Then Katie and Chris met up. And wham. Wow. They both cheated. So. Anyway, I'm going to say good night, and thank you all for being here with me tonight. It's been lovely chatting with you, but just keep that in mind, what we've been talking about tonight, the different possibilities of what he could have done, who he could have met on his little walkabout when he's been out walking around the area. You know what I mean? Did he meet someone? 
Did you go to that person's house on the Sunday if his mum put him outside? Thinking, well, I'll go to my friend's house. You know what I mean? But if that was the case, and Katie found out he, he wasn't there on the Sunday night, why did she not report him then? So it doesn't make sense. Unless she didn't want law enforcement to know that, as a punishment, she was putting him outside with no shoes on. I'll use a military space. Okay. Okay. So, just think about all these little things and try to keep out the drama. But if you really need to go and watch that video, I'd watch it on... Because I'm not going to say the name of the channel. I'm not. I don't watch their channel, so why should I promote their channel? I don't watch their channel. Come on. What? I'm going to bed, Toby. I like Toby. I'm going to bed, Toby. Toby won't let you, you know that, sweetheart. Where's no. Bobby? Where's Bobby? You, you do, he do, yeah, yeah, but Toby, do you? Have a look in the bedroom, in your bedroom. He might be on your bed. He lies on your bed some night. Um, I'm okay. I'm going to take. Yeah. So what? Can you heat that up? Yes, I'll heat it up for you. So what? I've got two cats. You know, Bobby is the cat that I got for Ellis, but Bobby kept attacking his mum. And I mean, really, attacking. she's still got the scars today, have we? So I had Bobby here. But Toby, he's always been just me. He's always only ever had me. And he will not put up with the kids going up to him and giving him loves and cuddles. He won't do it. Right. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna log off now anyway, okay? I so tell them to delete the mail. Tell them to delete the tell them to delete the you told them please. Okay. Because that's the gigit. Uh you got to forget what I've just said about the cats. That's a secret. <laughs> so you've got to delete it. Anyway. I'm going to say good night and thank you all for being here. Thank you for your input. But as I said, keep in mind what's been going on, what's been said, and stay away from all these bad channels. What's question mark? That explains a lot. You don't want me talking to you about my about my two cats. My cat is sitting on the armchair now, watching him. Just sitting on this armchair. He's sitting on the armchair, looking over at my grandson. I just say, how dare you try and give me a kiss? How dare you? But my cat won't put... Don't, he'll put up with the children. But he just don't want them going up and giving them loves and cuddles. I will make a difference. Thank you. And you. Good night. And you, Ellie. Thank you all for being here. Good night.